Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at an animation feature called Custom Paths. So if I just get myself a blank slide to start off with, and then go to the Animations tab at the top, and then I'm going to put the animation pane on, since I like to have that on. And then what you have is, everything's greyed out because there's no text boxes or anything like that, so if I go and get myself a bullet slide or title and contents, as soon as you click in any, any of those, this all becomes active. All these are active. Now the animation I want to look at is from here, although you can get it in here as well. So these are the, there's a custom path that I want to look at, but these are the motion paths um, that are preset and there are other ones as well. But I'm going to look at it through the Add Animation feature and then scroll down, same ones, but then you've got more motion paths at the bottom. And then this gives you quite a lot of different types of sets, if you like, different ways that um, the whatever you've got animated will follow this path. So it will go around that diagram there or it'll do the loop-de-loop -loop, or just go straight, straight to the right or straight to the left like so so I just want to have a quick look at that so if I cancel this for now I need to bring on a shape so let's insert a picture from this device and I'll just find a picture so I'm going to pick a dragoon insert him so we get a dragoon in there and I'll just make this a little bit smaller but I get the corner flipped around a little bit so if I want him to follow one of those motion paths, what I need to do is go animations, add animation, and then you've got these simple ones. So I'll just do this one. There's an arc. And then if I activate the pane again, you can just play. And he just follows that arc. Now, if, I, if you want to make that longer, you can just pull that longer. You've got different options on there. Start with previous, start and click. Effect options gives you the duration and this sort of stuff. You can change this information and you can, as, it's, as I said, it's on click. You put a delay in there, you can get it to last for a little bit longer than that. So five seconds is very slow. You can get it to repeat how many times you want and you can get it to rewind so I'll just click OK to that so I've made that very slow now so you can see it is moving very slow now I want to um, just delete that effect for a second and look at some of the other ones in there so I'll click onto the, the guy I'll go to add animation and this time I'm going to select custom path this allows you to draw a custom path so this is again going to follow whatever I do and I've come off the screen and I need to double click to end that and then if I play now it'll just follow what I did there and again if you go into effect options on that you can slow that down or speed that up so if I go into timings I'll make that slower five seconds and then he's going to do the same movements but a lot a lot slower so that's how you do a custom path. You've got effect options at the top here. Um, not a lot of options really. I suppose you could do reverse and you could coming backwards. It's quite cool. So you could get him going forwards and coming backwards. Um, these are just different types of lines, scribble. You've got locked or unlocked, so you can lock it in position and you can edit the points that these are on there. So I'm going to get rid of that. And, and get rid of him because what I want to do is have a look at these options on a chart so let's bring a basic chart in there so I don't need to do anything with the data I just want to use the animation effect to highlight parts of this chart so let's say this is a, a chart that you've you're presenting and you want to point out certain things so what I'm after now is a shape um, You've got different shapes here, but these arrows is what I'm after. So I want a down arrow. So there's a down arrow. 
So I'm going to animate that. So once you've got the arrow where you want it, so I'll just position that above there. Now you have to be careful um, when you bring these shapes in. If I've got the chart active and then I insert a shape, I'll do that again, which is what I did initially. Sometimes these can be um, become part of the chart, so that is now independent. So this, you see how this is active because I brought that in separate. This is grayed out because it's part of the chart. Um, I don't want it to be part of the chart, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So just be careful that when you bring a shape in that you haven't got the chart active, which is what I did there. So you've got the independent arrow because we want it to be independent. So first of all, I need this to dissolve in entrance dissolve in okay now I want it to move to this one so that's just a straight right arrow now let's go to add animation motion paths now you don't for some strange reason have the right arrow in this list but in more motion paths you've got an arrow going right that's what I want Click OK to that. Now the circle is where it's going to stop, so I need it to come back a little bit. And what I want it to do is, um, let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, now I want it to flash. So I'm going to add animation again. This time I want this feature pulse. So pulse. So that's what I want. Now it only pulsed once, but I want to go into effect options and set that pulse to um, repeat five times. Okay, so when it plays from the top, play, pulse. And then you can have it disappearing if you want. So um, let's add animation, just get it to disappear. Exit, dis dissolve out. Okay, so now if I start from the beginning, is it talking? This isn't great. And then just disappears like so. Now this is on click. All of these are on click, but you can change these to be. Um, with previous so you could get it to pulse five times and then disappear so let's see what happens now um, if I click on the top one so it's going to dissolve in it's going to move it's going to pulse and it's going to disappear so that was too fast for me so let's have it pulsing a bit longer than that timing this takes you there so 0.5 um, five seconds. Okay, stop. Let's play from the beginning. One. Right, so this has got to have a delay on it. So let's just put that back. Uh, go back to timings. So that was all right. It's, um, five seconds. Let's go two seconds. Okay and stop that we don't want that and this is what we need to do stop this it's happening on with previous straight away but we need to put a delay on this so let's put a two second delay on that so eventually we'll get this right play pulse disappear all right and you can maybe add a longer delay if you want on there as well so it's still faffing about with that. So two seconds is probably too long. Probably was okay in this, as it was in the default. But that's just a quick little uh, example of how to use the motion path with a chart or a diagram. And obviously you can get a lot more complicated than that. If I just get myself a, another slide, just a quick recap. If I insert picture, this device, um, my Dragoon again, just make him smaller. So you've got all these preset motion paths. Like I said, so we've got this loop-de-loop. -loop. 
So you're just going to follow that loop like so. You can make that a bigger, bigger loop if you want. And effect options, change that to the other way around. Edit the points. So you want it to do more of a whatever shape that is. And then you're just playing around and it'll do that loop. Uh, quite cool, really. Play from there. And then you can slow it down. So basically, that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video. How to use custom paths. How to use the default motion path. So hopefully that was of use to you. And thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.